हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्रतीक जोशी दिस पेशेंट हैज ऑलरेडी अंडर गॉन टी लिव प्रोसीजर एट एल फोर फाइव लेवल बट नाउ शी कंप्लेन्स ऑफ लेफ्ट साइड रेडिकुलर पेन ऑन एमआरआई वी कैन सी दैट देर इज सिग्निफिकेंट लंबार कैनल स्टेनोसिस एट एल वन टू एंड एल टू थ्री लेवल एंड देर इज नो सिग्निफिकेंट न्यूरोकल कंप्रेशन एट एल फोर फाइव विच इज ऑपरेटेड लेवल एंड वन लेवल अबाउ दैट इज एल थ्री फोर so today we are going to do left sided l12 and l23 root block procedure patient is position in prone position and we have identified the l12 and l23 level under iitv guidance and after infiltration of the skin with local anesthetic agent we are going to insert 22 gauge spinal needle there are two approaches for selective nerve root block procedure first one is cambin's uh, approach in which we approach the epidural space through the safe triangle of cambin and the other approach is subpedicular approach today i am going to follow subpedicular approach in this case so now i am going to introduce my spinal needle around 2 to 3 cm lateral from the midline at angle of around 30 degrees to the skin and i am going to advance my spinal needle so that the tip of the spinal needle which is the inferior portion of the pedicle as you can see this procedure is done under continuous iitv guidance and the needle is progressed slowly and gently it is very important not to damage the neural structure with the needle so we have reached the subpedicular spot in the lateral view and i am going to confirm the same in ap view we are going to inject 1% lignocaine mixed with canacort which i have already kept prepared apart from radiological confirmation patient is also going to experience shooting kind of pain in that particular limb when we are in the correct spot so these are the ap and lateral image intensifier images you can appreciate that the tip of our spinal needle is in correct position for subpedicular selective nerve root procedure so now we are going to slowly inject the canacort mixed with diluted lignocaine through the spinal needle it is very important to aspirate before we inject it's also equally important to be gentle and slow while injecting this medicine while injecting the medicine the patient might feel increase in warmth tingling numbness or heaviness in the area supplied by the root in which we are administrating the medicine since it's diluted lignocaine this is not going to cause motor deficit however the patient might feel loss of sensation or paresthesia in the dermatome supplied by the root temporarily we are going to repeat same steps for l12 level so this completes the procedure we usually keep the patient uh, supine for 1 to 2 hours after the procedure and make the patient walk once the patient is comfortable and once patient walks comfortably we discharge the patient
Thanks for watching this video. Do like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section.